In a world filled with mysteries, there is perhaps no group of people with such a mysterious background as the Gypsy. Whether referred to as Gypsies or Gypsies, they are an extraordinary nomadic race of individuals with their own unique language, laws, and customs. You will find them across Europe and in certain regions of Asia, Africa, America, and virtually every corner of the Earth. However, legend and recent discoveries have it that Gypsies might be part of the Ten Lost Tribes of Israel in the Bible. How true is this? What is the biblical origin of the Gypsy and Indians? Are they really of Jewish descent? All this will be addressed in today's video. Make sure you stick to the end. Let's start with the Indians. What has the Bible got to say about the origins of these people? Don't be surprised that the Bible has much to say about the Indians, whether regarding their geographic location, the people themselves, or the abundance of wealth within this nation. First, in Ezekiel 38 and 39, God revealed the members of an Asian alliance that will arise in the end times. The key players, according to Ezekiel 38, 2 and 3, are later identified as Russia and China. Additionally, verse 5 mentioned Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya as part of this alliance, all equipped with shields and helmets. It is worth noting that Ethiopia and Libya come from the Hebrew words Cush and Phut, respectively. Cush and Phut are descendants of Noah's son Ham, according to Genesis 10:6. All historical evidence, both secular and Bible sources, show that some of these people migrated westward, settling in eastern Africa. In contrast, others migrated eastward, occupying parts of the geographical territory we now know as India and Pakistan in South Asia. Besides, Phut, Noah's great-grandson, means warrior. And it's fascinating to discover that the warrior rulers of India are often referred to as the Rajas or Rajputs. Rajput means king or chief, and if you put the two words together, Rajput simply means king of warriors. Do you think the title is simply a coincidence, if not that the Indians are aware of their connection to the biblical descendants of Phut? Kush also settled in both eastern Africa and in India. They once dwelled in the area now referred to as Hindu Kush. The Parsis, who belong to the wealthiest class in India, are believed to be the descendants of ancient Persians, as mentioned in verse 5, which is why some Indians have lighter skin tones like the Persians, while others have darker skin tones, like the Kushites of Ethiopia. That's not all. There are so many indirect references to India in the Old Testament. History has it that Shem, one of Noah's sons, was the forefather of the fair-skinned Indian races. Shem's great-great-grandson, Ophir, founded the Indus civilization in India. It is in India that Ophir first settled. Interestingly, according to 1 Kings 9, 26 through 28, it was to this very land that Solomon's ship sailed to get gold, silver, ivory, apes, and peacocks, since gold was in abundance in the north of Punjab in northwest India. Even today, India remains one of the few places where peacocks can be seen in their natural habitat. India was also mentioned in Esther 1, 1, and 8-9 as the eastern boundary of the Persian Empire under King Ahasuerus around the 5th century BC. Now let's talk about the origin of a people that has a great genetic similarity with the Indians, the Gypsies. The Romani, or Roma, or Gypsies as widely known, are one of Europe's oldest ethnic groups. They speak one of the earliest European languages. While Gypsies can be found on all continents, most reside in Europe. You might be surprised to know that gypsies are basically people who wander about. They migrated to Europe around AD 1000, maintained their culture and traditions, and refused to assimilate or integrate into any system. For decades, they widely believed that the gypsies originated from Egypt. However, historians kept tracking their spread across all parts of the world and the discrimination they faced, uncovering a more comprehensive picture. Yet tracing their origins proved challenging because these people do not have a strong heritage, past heroes, or written historical records. Scholars, therefore, turn their attention to studying the Gypsy language and the written testimonials of those who encountered them during their journeys, gradually piecing together their culture and history. One fascinating thing is that oppression has forced this community to stay close together, intermarry, and cleave to their traditions. Among these customs, are the care of elderly individuals within their community 
and maintaining strong family ties throughout their lifetime. Gypsies in particular are recognized for engaging in unconventional occupations or trades, such as fortune-telling, working with horses, repairs, and entertainment. When the Europeans first encountered the gypsies, they warmly welcomed them. Aristocrats who met them in the 15th century went as far as to provide them with letters of protection to travel freely across countries. However, the origins of the Romani remained shrouded in mystery until the 18th century when a Hungarian theology student made a groundbreaking discovery. This student met three Indian students who spoke similarly to the gypsies he knew in Hungary. After further inquiry, he was able to trace their language back to Sanskrit, an ancient language spoken in India. His discovery shocked the entire historian community, which of course sparked skepticism. So to establish certainty regarding the origin of gypsies, a genetic test was conducted in 2012 and published in a scientific journal. This test involved analyzing the DNA of 152 individuals from 13 distinct Roma groups. The conclusions of the study aligned with the logistic findings of the young man, affirming that India is indeed the ancestral homeland and birthplace of the gypsies. According to genetic tests, the Roma traced their origin directly to northern India, more specifically to the Punjab region close to Pakistan. When historians discovered that Romani culture originated in northwest India, they began to wonder why the Romani left India in the first place only to find that they fled to escape the invasion led by Mahmud of Ghazni. At first, they migrated to Iran and eventually divided into two groups. One group traveled south, passing through Syria before settling in northern Africa and Greece. The other group headed north through Armenia before arriving in regions that are now Bulgaria, Romania, and Serbia. While many Romani individuals chose to stay in the Balkan countries, others continued their migration westward into Europe. During the 16th and 17th centuries, some theories emerged suggesting that gypsy people could be descendants of Cain. However, this is not possible as their lineage disappeared in the flood. Who then is their forefather? From where do they spring up in the Bible? Presently, there is no definitive answer regarding the origin of the gypsy people. However, a thorough analysis of the Old Testament gave some clues when combined with historical and geographical references, some scholars have been able to deduce the biblical origins of the gypsy people. Some scholars propose that the gypsy community might potentially belong to one of the 12 lineages of Israel, specifically one of the 10 lost lineages. This belief stems from several biblical quotes that refer to a prophecy and a divine punishment. According to these verses, the tribe's name would be forgotten and they would be scattered across the world. Moreover, the gypsies have never claimed ownership of a country or territory or started a war for that purpose. When persecuted, they simply move from one country to another. Presently, their trade professions not only enable them to sustain their nomadic heritage, but also allow them to travel extensively. Another group of scholars propose that the gypsies' initial claim to Egyptian origin could be biblically right. According to this theory, their ancestors were part of a mixed multitude that left Egypt with Moses. See Exodus 12, 38, Numbers 11, 4, Nehemiah 13, 3. This group then continued their journey to India where they settled. Later on, a huge part of the gypsies who were descendants of this group migrated to Europe at various times and through different routes. These two theories suggest that there may be two groups of gypsies with different biblical origins. One group is believed to be one of the lost tribes of Israel, while the other is considered part of the mixed multitude from Egypt. However, despite their distinct origins, there is a common link between these two groups. Both settled in India. Their DNA indicates a connection to the Indian population. In essence, they could be considered a sub-tribe of the Indians, making them descendants of the same biblical origin as the Indians themselves. We'll wrap up today's video at this point. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, and to discover more biblical mysteries, click the next video on your screen.